Now on this side, you can see this J channel. Again, I could cut it and replace it that way, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to make it hard on myself and replace it all the way up. You do have pieces like this that should be replaced. There's a little hole right here, uh, but we don't have a lot of siding, so I'm not going to replace those right now. This is kind of the same, but kind of different. I'm not going to take all this siding off. I'm just basically going to unsnap it up here and try and just take these out just a little bit so I can get to the nails here, sneak that new J channel up there, nail it in, and then bring these back down. So I'm also going to try and do it quick before it rains. So let's see if I can actually get it done. I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. This thing might give me a little bit of trouble, but we'll see. Some of these are trickier than others. There we go. Sometimes you gotta work in the rain. the new one to the bottom upside down so you have the good side up here when I install it I'm gonna cut the top kind of like that Still gonna have to pull these out and attach it, but I guess I can get it in there to start. Wherever I can, I'm gonna get nails in for this J channel. I'll start at the bottom and work my way up. Sneaking nails in to the J channel and the siding however I can. Without cutting myself. I'd love to do Tyvek in there, but it's not going to happen. Not today. J channel and nail on the siding. How are we going to do this? Nope. I'm going to have to take this piece out. Of course. Whoa. And then you can slide it up in here like this so it's locked in above the light. First, I'll get a nail in here and a nail in here. Whew. Sounds like it broke, but it didn't break. <laughs> 